am in the car and we're on the way to the cat show. We're all loaded up. I've got the cats in the back here. You can see the car is absolutely chockers. But I'm just grabbing a coffee because it's early and it's cold and I need one. We're going to drive into the show hall and then there'll be a big frenzy of getting everything ready. Everybody will be tying their curtains up, getting all their cats in. The beginning of the show is the most crazy time and then everything settles down after that. Okay, so we're here at the cat show, um, it's a Cats United cat show, which is my association, and we're here in Fremantle. You can see all the cats are in their cages there, and judging's happening at the moment. We've got a judge there, and she's judging, I think, a Russian at the moment. So the cats are all set up. You can see they've all got um, curtains in their cages, they've got their litter trays and beds, and they've got sides around their cages. So I'm just going to go around and take some um, videos of what's happening at the show, just to give you an idea of what goes on. When you go to a show, you're competing to win rosettes and prizes and the different classes that your cat's in will determine what prizes you're going for. So looking at these, we've got, um, we've got D-sex cats and entire cats and we have two rings here. So this is one ring and that's the other ring, so different colours for each ring and you will have prizes for... Um, different cats in each thing so we have like the kittens will have long hair and short hair because we split into long hair and short hair so your cats will be competing for um, places in the show to win these go on, and i'll explain that a bit better in a minute now we're in the long hair section and what we have is we have the cats that are the long hair cats this cat's in its first show so it's got an l sign on it and burner plates for first time showers and in the long hair section we will have cats kittens and desexed and what they compete for initially is they compete in their sex and their color class so for example if we had two seal point rag dolls they would compete together um, if there was two male seal point rag dolls they would both compete together for a place and then the winner of that will go into the sort of small final which is the um, best adult or best kitten or best desexed and have the top placings for that and then the winner of that will then go up to be the best in section which will be best long hair so the judge is doing her finals and she's just asked the exhibitors to bring their cats out so she's got her top three cats and the exhibitors are bringing them out and then she's going to talk about them and then we will find out who the winner is. Um, I really love her expression. Just very sweet expression, um, nice breads, nice curves to her face, lovely eye set, um, ear set is good. I love her body, her coat colour and her proportion. So she's a really balanced little babe today. So my um, best Siberian, that's cage number 22, 22, yes, okay, and look how beautiful Persian, beautifully groomed, um, lovely eye shape, uh, lovely expression, but you know, I've got to point out this room, it's just superb, um, ear set is magical, um, nice breadth between the ears, very low, still, rounded ears, and lovely eye color. So, a best version, which is page number 17. And then we've got page number 11, a different exotic one. Um, uh, it's got a lovely expression, <laughs> lovely eye color, got a nice roundness, and can't find anything on your coat with this green. Um, so, what I have done today is page number 22 is actually my best, my best tip of the day. So, first place, my reserve is going to lovely little play here in page number 17. And my third place today is page number 11. You could have talked to them both. You could have, yeah. <laughs> So Tonya's Siberian was first, and now this kitten is going to go up against, it'll go against the adult entire, and it'll go up against the d in long hair, and it'll go up the best in group. So it's beaten all the kittens so far, and now it has to compete against the best adult and the best d -sexed. 
So here we have an example of two cats and they're both males and they're both in the entire adult section and they are both Siberians and they're both the same color which is a black mackerel, well, sorry, black, black classic tabbies um, and when they come to a show the first thing, when we're talking about classes, the first thing that they compete against is color, breed and sex. So these two boys are actually going to be competing directly against each other. So the judge will come along and she'll judge them and she has to choose between each of these boys which one is her best. So that's the very first um, class that your cat will compete in. Now often at shows we don't have that because, for example, this guy here, this rag doll, is the only one this sex and color. So this one doesn't have to compete against somebody else the same. But when you come to a show and there are two cats and they're the same, they compete against each other to start with. Then they compete against each other and then the winner of that particular class will compete against all of these other cats here. And then from that, the judge will then determine who are her best adults. And you can see this, kit, this cat here has already won a placing in the ring that we're just being judging now. Um, and then here at the end we have a big Maine Coon boy and he was the reserve entire. Um, so the judge has judged all of these cats and she's judged the ones that have got another cat the same as them. She's judged them between each other. The other ones she's judged them and placed them in order for the whole section which is entire cat. And then she's chosen this one as her best entire. And so this one will be competing against the kitten and the desexed for the overall best long hair exhibit. And then once we've chosen, the judge has chosen her best long hair exhibit and her best short hair exhibit, those two cats will compete for Supreme in show. Here we have some of the prizes for the show. So we're sponsored by Royal Cannon today. And we are also sponsored by Catmate. And these are the prizes for the winners. And we talked before about the cats, the cat, kitten, and D6 going up for the best in group. So this is our best in group ribbon. Judges fancy. And then we also have So today at our show, we have pet cats at our show. Now, if you have a pet cat at home, if you've got um, a cat of any breed, so it can be a domestic cat, it can be a particular breed, any type of cat at all can be shown in the pet cat section. This is Spike. Oh, Spike. He's done well today. He's got a reserve pet cat ribbon. Spike is an Abyssinian cross. Um, and here we have a sphinx. Here we have a domestic cat. It's like a tuxedo in his beautiful glittery curtains. And here we have a ragdoll and another one. But when we have pet cats, we're not actually judging them as a rag doll. We're not judging as a sphinx. We're not judging him as a do well, domestic, and we're not judging this one as a part Abyssinian. What we're judging them in is their temperament, um, their grooming, and just their presentation and what the judge might like on the day. So it doesn't matter if your cat has um, pedigree parents. It doesn't matter at all. It just needs to be a cat. And they can come to a show but the biggest thing is temperament so if you have a cat at home that's super smoochy um, and friendly then they're probably going to wow the judges and then things like unique patterns and that are really cute as well this guy does well look at that very cute beautiful bright eyes beautifully presented lovely temperament and that's what the judges are looking for in the pet cat section so if you have a pet cat and you're interested in showing uh, Talk to someone in an association in your state, so in WA, come and talk to um, our team at Cats United. These are the long haired D sex cats. Now, D sex cats are pedigree cats with papers that have been D sexed and they compete in our shows. It's not just the breeding cats that compete. And we love D sex cats that come along to shows. We've got rag dolls here, there's another one hiding in its bed there somewhere. 
we've got some of our exhibitors over here with their D-Sex rag dolls. And this is Jamie. Jamie, which one's yours? My one's the big boy over there. Over the there. Cave. Jamie's kitten, cat over there, sorry, D-Sex cat. So D-Sex cats are often pet cats as well. And he's, um, what's his name? Theo. Theo, so Theo is Jamie's pet cat. We've got some more D-Sex ones here. And they compete um, for the breed standard. So ragdolls, again, they would be competing against the ragdoll breed standard. And we have the um, pet and companion cats. They compete as a pet cat. So they're competing on the personality and grooming and temperament. These guys are competing in their classes for best D-sex cat. And the best D-sex cat will go up against the best kitten and the best um, entire cat, which is the breeding cat, or the best in group, so the best long hair cat. And then they will go up for Supreme. This kitty was hiding. Now he's back out again. You can see our exhibitors, um, they have their litter trays there, but our exhibitors have their cage curtains in here. And he's got a lovely set of purple curtains and he's got his cute bed there as well. This guy has got very pretty um, Asian sort of satin embroidered fabric beautiful he looks really nice on that it really shows off his coloring really nicely you can see they've also got and their cages these cages um, are our show cages you can get these from Kmart is a really great place to get them and they've got their um, covers so these guys have got specially made covers with sides and that stops them from coming into contact with the other cats in the show we've got their cat carrier here that they came to the show in exhibitors will bring trolleys with all the gear on it for showing a couple of cats. They are with their curtains and beds. His little toy there as well. Come along to our shows. You can even just come along to have a look at the cats. We've got people coming in to see them and talk to the breeders and find out more about them. Maybe find a new kitten or someone that's a breeder of the breed that you love and then you can talk to them about getting a new kitten. Lovely D-sex boy. You can see he's a pet kitty. His owner's brought him to the show and he's done really well today. Good boy. Here we have our short hair cats. And our short hair cats are all competing for best cat, kitten and D-sexed. Sleeping in the litter tray. It's a Torty. Torty in white. We have some Russians here as well today. Scottish fold here. Hiding behind the curtains. Hello, sweetie. Very cute. Everybody's here meeting the breeders, talking to people about cats and kittens. So what actually happens when we're judging? Well, the judge will um, have a look at her paperwork and she'll see which cat needs to come out next and then the steward goes off to get the cat and then the um, cat comes out to the table and the judge looks at the cat and looks all over the cat and checks out what they need to check out and, and checks out um, basically comparing the cat to its breed standard and then to the other cats in the show. So this is a um, chocolate male British short hair. So the judge will put her hands all over him to work out if he feels the way he's supposed to feel, check his coat, check his eye colour, all of those things.
again, we've got these lovely broads and muzzles over here <coughs> and a very nice line for the profile. Good strong chin. Good roundness. And we are only six months and three days. I mean, that's a pretty lump of the kitten for six months old. I'll come back when you're as old as um, grandfather over there and see you. <laughs> so the judge has just um, judged this kitten and now he's the only one of his colour and his sex and his breed so he's only competing against himself and then the next kitten will come out and then that one will compete and then they'll all go in together to be who's going to be the best kitten in the short hair section. Judging is now finished, so I'm just going to explain to you again about the idea of what your cats compete, how your cats compete when they come to a show. So the first thing they compete in is their breed, colour and sex. And this is another good example. We have two male British shorthairs. This guy here is about two years old. This guy here is about four and a half years old. And they're both British shorthairs, they're both blue, and they're both male. So the judges today had to compare them to each other and choose the one that they wanted to choose as their best. Um, and the judges both chose the older boy, this one here. So he's got his ribbons there because he was um, he got a first place as well. But these are the awards that he gets. And these are called challenge certificates. And what happens is, he, that says that he won out of the blue male British short hair entire adult class, he won that class and he got a certificate for that. And those certificates can then be used for cashing in for titles. So we, when you have six of them, you can cash them in to be champion or grand champion. So then once this guy placed first, he then was judged against all the other cats in this section, which are going down all the way down to here. Some more over here and they all got judged against each other and then the judge decided out of all the British short hairs and all of the Russians and what else is here today there was some Scottish folds all the different breeds that were here today um, in the adult short hair section that she then placed um, they each then placed them um, in I think it was a top five and so for example this cat here has an award it's one of rosette so it was I think like fourth I think it might have been it'll be on the back of the rosette let me have a look so this one was the fifth best adult and that was a British short hair and then this guy was he was um, the best out of the adults and what is interesting is that when you have a best of breed so what what can happen is this guy was the winner of this class between these two cats. That means that this guy here, he can't then get a first place over this boy. If this boy got fifth, the highest this one could get would be sixth. So it's kind of like that first initial class puts them into an order and then that order goes up to the next level and then that goes to the next level. So there's all different levels involved in showing. And um, the first is color, sex and breed. And then they go up into desexed um, or entire, the whole section of all the desexed short hairs, all the entire short hairs, and all the um, kitten short hairs. And now this guy's best entire. He's going to go up against the best kitten in each ring and the best desexed in each ring. So over here, where my friends are standing and having a chat, <laughs> ladies, this is our best desexed. So he's going to compete against this cat. The best um, in group so this is the best desexed one and then over here over here we have the best kitten so the big blue boy the Siamese and the Russian we've got a Russian blue here these guys are all competing together and one of them will be the best in group best in group is normally held to the end and they announce it at the finals so if we look over here just going through the show. If we have a look up here, we have 
a ribbon for best in group and one will be for long hair and here's the other ribbon for best in group and that will be for short hair. Of those two then the judge will pick the best in show which is this ribbon here which is the supreme. So it goes from best in your class, best in your section, best in group and then through to supreme.